one of the most interesting facts about retroverted uterus, where the uterus tilts uh, backward toward the spine, instead uh, of forward toward the, uh, toward the bladder. So is that in most cases? It's actually normal anatomical variation rather than a pathological condition. Around 20-30% of women have a retroverted uterus and the majority are completely asymptomatic and no problem. However, however, what makes it clinically fascinating is that a retroverted uterus can sometimes mimic or be mistaken for disease. Uh, for example, on pelvic exam, it may be misinterpreted as a something not okay, an axial mass or pelvic fullness. Similarly, in early pregnancy, a retroverted gravid uterus can be associated with rare but serious complication called uterine incarceration. This happens when the growing uterus becomes trapped in the pelvis, leading to urinary retention, pain, and risk of miscarriage, if not probably, of course, recognized and managed. Another important point for medical students is, uh, is its relationship with pelvic pathology. While the retroverted uterus itself is a usually harmless, it can sometimes be secondary to conditions like endometriosis, uh, real concern, uh, pelvic adhesions or pelvic inflammatory disease, which th th tether the uterus backward. So this distinction is crucial because it may guide further diagnostic workup. Okay? So key takeaways is this. A retroverted uterus is most often just an absolutely normal variant. Period. But... No, not period, comma. Okay. But in some situations, it can either mimic pathology or be a marker of underlying conditions, underlying diseases. And, and in pregnancy, in pregnancy, awareness of the rare risk of incarceration mentioned above is essential to prevent maternal fetal, maternal fetal complications. Get it? Great.